Newtown Theatre here on George Street in Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. August is the month when some of the best acts from around the world descend on this fair city. And we're bringing you live from 1.30 to 2.30 every day from George Street's Newtown Theatre. Now, up for grabs today, I'm asking the question, how many shows are there in Edinburgh Fringe Festival, right? And I want you to go over to our Twitter, at edfest underscore live, and let us know how many you think there are. Um, up today, we've got the best from stand-up, magic, uh, oh God, lots of stuff. And I can't wait to get this going on. Are we ready, audience? Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, we are. We have got our very own TV chef coming up later in the show. Uh, but first up, can you please give them a one, give her a wonderful EdFest Live welcome for the wonderful Lynn Ruth Miller. Hello, hello. Look at all, look at all you happy people. Uh, I'm Lynn Ruth Miller, I am 82 years old, and I am your future, this is it. <laughs> there isn't a woman in here that isn't looking at me and isn't saying no. <laughs> Won't let that happen to me. <laughs> and you're right, you're gonna look a lot better than I do because you have Botox. All we had was scotch tape. <laughs> But you know, everybody is so afraid of aging. I really can't get over that. Really, aging is, is amazing. I mean, for example, this is the absolute best year of my life. Yes. Of course, thank you. Of course I can't remember any of the others, but it is. But one of the things you have to do is, is, is there are a lot of joys to aging. There really are a lot of joys to aging. I mean, for example, I wake up in the morning That's always a surprise. <laughs> Sometimes I even get out of bed and I'm off the pill. Let's hear it for me, I'm off the pill, yeah. Thank you, yeah. I just got back from Italy and I didn't get pregnant. And no more PMS, no more PMS. When I tell you I'm gonna kill you, I mean it, I mean it. One of the nice things about, gaining, about, about aging, which uh, I love to share, is for some reason when I turned 75, I stopped gaining weight. I have no idea why I just stopped gaining weight. I think my metabolism looked at me and said, oh, the poor old sod, let her eat. What else does she have? <laughs> but anyway, I don't gain weight. And I was, at a, I was at an ice cream parlor and I ordered a hot fudge sundae with extra fudge, extra whipped cream, and extra nuts. And the girl said, you forgot the cherry. I said, listen, I lost that years ago, now I'm into nuts. <laughs> she said, you eat that, it'll go right to your hips. I said, they're brand new, they can take it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, there are, there are body changes when you're older. There are body changes. For example, you lose inches and you also get shorter. It's going to be that big. That's how big it's going to be. That's it. I've gotten so short, I don't have to bend over to wash the floor. And I don't have to go down on my knees to go down, which is very, very short. <laughs> and things get loose. Things get loose. Uh huh. You think I'm nodding. I'm not nodding. <laughs> It's loose, it's loose. Yeah, and having sex sounds like a 40-piece orchestra. That's just what happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always think it's, you always hope it's the tuba, but it never is, honey. It's always the flute. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I, I try to keep up to date. I do, I try to keep up to date. I love to go to raves, don't you? Yeah, I do, I love to. I just turn my hearing aid off and put my pacemaker on vibrate. I'm there. <laughs> I tried speed dating, I tried speed dating, and it just doesn't work for the elderly. It doesn't work for the elderly. First guy got his foot caught on my Zimmer frame, and the second one dropped his teeth in my beer, and I thought, no, <laughs> it's not for me, it's not for me. But I have been around, I've been around, I've done a lot, I've done cruise ships. I did the Mayflower. Hey. <laughs> I knew John Smith, I knew John Smith, but he wanted Pocahontas, and I don't do sex that way. But I, but I, you know, and I know what you're wondering. I know what you're wondering, and yes, you can after 80, but carefully. It's sort of like the horizontal two-step, you know, one, two, and it's over. 
But it's a lot more relaxing because men my age can't see what they're getting and fall asleep before they get it. <laughs> and they all have arthritis and replaced hips, so when they really get moving, it sounds like a dress rehearsal for stomp. <laughs> but the nice thing, the nice thing about dating at my age is you don't have to worry about meeting their parents. <laughs> and thank you very much, Adeline Ruth Miller. Take a seat, my darling. Honestly, you are like, <laughs> isn't she amazing, everyone? Yeah. Could you give us like top three top tips on growing old disgracefully? I don't think it's disgraceful. I think it's just growing old. The three top tips are to love yourself, yeah. to figure out what your dream is, and to go after it. And that's essentially what you're doing. Uh, do you want to give your show a quick plug before we wrap this up? 6.20 at C Nova is I Love Men. Wow. And 815 at the Community Project in the Little Kirk is uh, This Is Your Future, which is comedy. Give it up for the wonderful Lynn Ruth, Ruth Miller. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, up next, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. Troy Hawk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. How are you doing, everyone? You well? Oh, that good. <laughs> Stop it. Now, you look good. You've made the effort. I appreciate that. Of course I do. I mean, look at me. Come on. I'm always having, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate the non-verbal appreciation. Of course I do. I, I appreciate the verbal appreciation as well. Uh, I was, in fact, I was walking down the street the other day uh, and some chap summoned my attention in the following manner. What's up with you, Paul? Are you going to find some dress party or what, you dodo? <laughs> Now, if you're unfamiliar with the dialect, I'll translate for you. Of course I will. Uh, he said, ah, you've made some fabulous sartorial decisions. <laughs> you're clearly on your way to a significant social engagement. <laughs> you dildo. <laughs> it's too early for all of that, isn't it? Honestly. You have to understand, I had a slow start. I was homeschooled. Home school, home college, home university, you know. In my gap year, I really found myself in the conservatory. <laughs> but most of what I've learned come on the street, street life, I adore it. Uh, are you aware of a place called Weatherspoons? <laughs> exactly my people, fantastic. I love the Weatherspoons. I've been in love with the Weatherspoons ever since I saw that title, honestly. Because to me, it reads like the beginning of a Shakespeare quote. Where the spoons? Yeah. Where the spoons or forks? <laughs> oh, stop it. You're trampling all over my diphthongs, madam. Come on. Where the spoons or forks? Tonight, we dine to the sound of no music. <laughs> and we say nay to the bacon carbonara. Nay to the sausage and mash. And thrice times nay to the all-day brunch. Because today is Curry Tuesday for five pounds. Including drink, open brackets, not including bottle beers, close brackets. I adore the Weatherspoons, it's like a spiritual temple. All of these chaps in there staring at the walls, meditating. You know, those, those sticky floors. Those sticky floors that invite you to pause for a moment. <laughs> Have a look around. Live in the present. Contemplate life before the inevitable squelch of Reebok. The squelch of Reebok as someone peels off in a new direction, you know. <laughs> Every hour or so, somebody will ceremonially break a glass just to relieve the negative tension in the room. Now, I know that's what happens, because every time it does, there's an enormous chant of, Ray! <laughs> Ray of sunshine! Ray of light! Ray of optimism! It's fabulous. Uh, that second, though, of course, that fabulous Scottish restaurant uh, specialising in beef dishes. What's it called? Uh, McDonald's. <laughs> yes, I was unsure about the heritage until I saw the mascot. You know, red hair, pale skin, red nose. Clear vitamin D deficiency and a drink problem. <laughs> How very Scottish. <laughs> Love it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd end on that. I'm Troy Hawk. Thank you very much. And Give it up for Troy Hawk. <laughs> 
Troy, meet Lynn. Lynn, Troy, have you guys met before? Yeah, several times. Lynn and I. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Of course we have. At the cemetery. Yes, we were visiting old friends. <laughs> Troy, is it... Tr my, yeah, your old friends, yes. Pardon? I was introducing you. I was you were introducing me to dead people. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> they like weather spoons too. They, the dead people adore the weather spoons. <laughs> yes, of course they do. That's uh, why. That's why. Well, they fit right in conversationally. I yeah. feel like we're intruding on, our, on their first Tinder date. I feel yeah. like this is what is happening right now. If, if you don't mind, a uh, bit of privacy, please. Go on. <laughs> Troy, is this your first time to Edinburgh Fringe Festival? Uh, it's my second time to the Edinburgh uh, Fringe. You all right? No, I'm fine. I'm just, you're exciting me. <laughs> I haven't touched tips in a long time. I haven't touched tips in a long time. Lynn, is Troy your sort of ideal man? Is this a, the kind of gentleman that you would go for? Do you feel like there's a mutual attraction? I do. Do you know about the, 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 the half? The, it's a 40, a 40 plus half. Half plus seven. Half plus seven. So how old are you? Uh, well, uh, I'm operating from the 1930s, so... Well, that, that's just about... That, that's a little old for me. I think, yeah. <laughs> I, need someone, I need someone who's 48. <laughs> you, I mean, you look pretty good from the 1930s. What's your secret? Uh, thank well, you very much. better than the guys I date. Huh? <laughs> uh, my secret's never being able to start or finish a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, where can I'm people... Good, I'm good at making that happen. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, right, where I'm at the you? City Cafe, 8 o'clock, every day. Come, you'll love it. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, that's it for part one. Give it up for the wonderful Lynn and the wonderful Troy. We'll be back again with our very own Cook de la Jour. Some magic, some music, some amazing stuff. <laughs>